Welcome, today I'm doing a comparison many have requested. The AMD RX 460 versus the RX 470 and finally versus the RX 480. How much of a difference is there between these three graphics cards? The RX 460 I'm using for the test is equipped with 2GB of video memory, the RX 470 and 480 cards with 4GB. As for pricing, there's a very significant gap between the RX 460 and the two more powerful models, RX 470 and 480. The price difference between those two actually at the time of this video isn't necessarily that big at all. But what you want to know is the difference in performance, so let's check it out. Alright, the RX 460, as I've suspected, due to the significantly lower pricing, doesn't perform even close to the RX 470 and 480 GPUs. At 1080p at pretty much maxed out settings, most of the time games are barely playable. Whereas even with the RX 470 we're given a decent playable frame rate. Even better ones with the RX 480 obviously. But of course we need to take the really low price of that RX 460 into consideration. We can't expect too much of it and after all 1080p gaming certainly is an option. You just have to make sure to turn down the graphic settings and play at medium or low in the worst case scenario. However, this is where I usually stop recommending a purchase because it might work for now, but it's not very future proof and you're soon going to be limited real hard once newer game titles get released with new more demanding game engines that need even more GPU horsepower. So from what I've seen here, skip on the RX 460 save up a little longer if you can and get yourself at least the RX 470. And if you've watched my previous videos on the RX 470, you know I advised you to go for the RX 480 instead if you happen to have the possibility to pay a bit more. Because really there's not much of a difference in terms of pricing between RX 470 and 480. And with 480 I always mean the 4GB model, not the one with 8. The temperatures are fine, nothing much to say here, and the power consumption of these graphics cards is pretty impressive. The RX 460 is a real low power card and consumes only very little power even though I expected it to draw even less than it did in my test. So yeah, I guess this wraps this video up. I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit my website to sometimes see videos there earlier.